Hi everyone, this is a bit of a belated video, but I'm here today to talk about the best books that I read in 2012. The way I did this video last year was by listing all the books I gave 5 stars to on Goodreads. That's what I'm going to do again. However, I remember last year I only had about 5 books to talk about. This year things are a bit different and I have about 10. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm coming to understand the books that I like better and just picking ones to read that I know I'll like. Who knows? Let's get to it. The first 5 star book I read was, as you might guess, The Fault in Our Stars, which came out early January last year, if you remember. I made a whole video review of this book a while ago so I'll just link to that and you can watch that and we'll move on. The next book I have is The Perks of Being a Wallflower which is such a beautiful book. It's pretty much the best teenager coming of age story that I've ever read at least that takes place in sort of contemporary culture. By the way, yes, I also loved the movie. I usually tend to love movies that are directed or written by the authors of the book. It really kept the spirit of the book alive, but of course I would recommend that you read the book first. Next is Bill Bryson's The Mother Tongue. I've also made a video about this book before, but it still holds true. I love it. Next are two books I actually never did make a video about. I always meant to, but it always somehow eluded me, which are volumes 1 and 2 of Mouse. These are graphic novels slash memoirs slash history lessons and they're absolutely beautiful. The author's name is Art Spiegelman. His father was a Jew during the Holocaust and these graphic novels pretty much chronicle not only his father's Holocaust story but also it's a bit of a frame story, a bit of a meta thing, and that you also get to see Art Spiegelman talking to his father and getting the information and it's about their relationship as well as the whole Holocaust story and it's just so interesting and so raw and such a great way to present a Holocaust story and I am very interested in World War II types of literature so I thought it was absolutely astounding and I think everyone would like this. So there are two volumes, this is the first one. The second one is called And There My Troubles Began and I would highly recommend both of them. Next is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor. I've also made a video review of that, so we'll keep moving on. And then we've got one of my favorite mangas, Yotsuba and Volume 10. I read the 10th volume for the first time this year. Yotsuba is absolutely adorable and hilarious and I love everything about it. From my experience, it is not quite like you would expect other mangas, so if you don't really like mangas, mangas, whatever. If you don't like them, I think that you should still give Yotsuba a chance, as well as Azumanga Daio, which is also written by the same guy. They're just like really quirky and funny and I just like laugh out loud reading them all the time. I actually read the 10th volume in French because I bought it when I was in Quebec. I figured since it was a graphic novel about a five-year-old it wouldn't be that hard to read and I was right. This fall I read the absolutely true story of a part-time Indian. I don't know if I've mentioned that on this channel before. It's by Sherman Alexi. It's a young adult book. It's about a kid on an Indian reservation who decides to go to the you know predominantly white school outside of the reservation to get a better education and kind of about those culture clashes. It's really funny told in first person and it's a super quick read. I read it overnight. My last book I want to talk to you about is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I've never really had a relationship with a book like I've had with that one and it just really really spoke to me. So if you think yourself similar to me, maybe you should read it. But then again, I'm not sure how much these videos capture my essence, so I'm not sure how much that advice will stand true. And it has a little blurb from J.K. Rowling on the front, so if you need any other recommendations, this book is recommended by J.K. Rowling. So. Narrator, her name is Cassandra, and she's really, really charismatic and charming. And the way that she thinks just made such complete sense to me. She would say something or think something, and I'd be like, yes, I've thought that so many times. I thought I was the only person who thought that. For example, Cassandra has a very powerful imagination, and she kind of uses that as a tool in making decisions, and that's something that I do. And this is at the beginning of chapter four. I promise there are no spoilers. Little did I think what the evening was to bring. Something has actually happened to us. My imagination longs to dash ahead and plan developments, but I've noticed that when things happen in one's imaginings, they never happen in one's life, so I'm curbing myself. And that is... blows my mind! That's a thing I've thought about all the time, because I do, like, run through these scenarios in my head all the time, and, like, plan developments, like she says, and those things that I imagine in my head never happen. So sometimes when I'm imagining things, I'm like, no, stop imagining that, because you want that to happen, and if you imagine it, it won't happen. And oh my gosh, I've just that's just the thing I've thought about a lot in my life, and Cassandra brings it up so matter-of-factly, and I'm like, I didn't think anyone else thought the way that I did, but Cassandra does. And it just makes me feel so not alone, and it just speaks to me. I don't know what else to say about this book. I'm gonna stop talking now. So there you have it. Those are the favorite books that I read in 2012. I'm so happy there were so many of them. Please tell me what your favorite books that you read in 2012 are, if you think I should read them, or if you think other people should read them. Hopefully 2013 will be full of even more books. Maybe I'll read 15 five-star books this year. Who knows?